What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, 2020 Panini Legacy Football 6-box half case break random teams number 8 just sold out where we're giving you guys 20% off. A very, very good price, guys. 32 soda spots. Everybody gets a random team in the NFL. No veteran common ship. All donated. Great price in the break compared to what boxes are selling for. And again, we're going to go by group break checklist for these autographs here. So, where's the legacy? There you go. We'll view the checklist here like that. And again, before we do anything like that, let's randomize customer names and teams. Let's roll it. And we got ourselves a three and a two five times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five. Jeremy, down to Sanford after five times. And let's go five times here. One, two, three, four, and five. Chiefs down to the Cardinals. Jeremy with the Chiefs, Richard with the Jaguars, Vikings, Oliver with the Bucks, Richard, last one with your Patriots, Mike with the Seahawks, Richard with the Rams, Greg with the Panthers, Colt with the 49ers, Juan with the Bengals. There you go, Juan. Uh, Richard with the Saints, Sean with the Texans, Adam, we have the Titans, Matthew with the Bills, Christopher with the Ravens, Colton with the Packers, Shannon with the Bears, Colton with my Eagles, Sean with the Chargers, Gregory with the Colts, Justin with the Falcons, Charles with the Redskins, Richard with the Dolphins, Steelers, Broncos, Colton with the Jets, Christopher with the Raiders, Juan with the Giants, Nicholas with the Lions, Richard with the Cowboys, Philip with the Browns, and Stanford with the Cardinals. So again, if you guys want to trade, I'll give you guys a quick minute. I'm going to start ripping some of these boxes, so I'll turn on Nick Camp so you guys can see that. I was about to say, Matt, you gonna trade the Bulls? But then I realized obviously the Bulls. these teams are up for trade guys I mean try to make propose a trade with everybody there though. if not I'm gonna close it right now once I'm done with this box bears for Seahawks Shannon Zane. If you want to accept that trade, Michael, let me know. If not, I'm going to close it right now. Not feeling the bears for the Hawks. All right. All right, by the time I finish this box, guys, if there's no trades, I'm just closing in. I've already been there for like three minutes, so. Here you go. Here's a. Here's the uh, schedule right there. Bills for Atlanta going once.
going twice. Alright. Trade window closed and I'll accept that trade right there. If you're good with that, Matthew, I know you proposed it, but just let me know. All right, trade window closed, guys. We got one trade in. Bills for Falcons. There you go, guys. One trade. There you go, guys. Yes, Matthew, you did. Bills for the Falcons. Did I not get it right? Justin had the Falcons and you had the Bills, right? There you go. That was the one trade I did accept before I closed the trade window. Okay, you, okay, yeah. Sorry, Car Blasters, I closed it already. I have the trade window open for like a good at least like five minutes. As I can see, I'm recording. I'm at seven minutes now. A little longer than usual, but sorry, man. All right, good luck, guys. We got Harrison Smith. We got Hunter Bryant. And do we have a dual autograph? Jacob Eason and Hunter Bryant. Yes, we do. There you go. Washington Huskies Duato. Let's see. So let's see. Hunter Bryant is Lions and Jacob Eason is Colts so that'll be a randomizer what happened to my post-it notes guys Jesus stop taking them guys Colton and Lions. So 
So we'll have to randomize that. Colts, Gregory, Lions, Nicholas. All right, we got Devin Bush. Devin Singletary, it's Trey Mojo. Justin now has the Bills. Oh, another patch auto? Wow, in the same box. How about this time you get to keep this one? Two out of five, Jacob Eason. Colts, Gregory. Two out of five. Very nice. It's the kind of boxes you want to get right there. And Tua Tagovailoa. Nice Miami Dolphins with that one. Richard. Little mini. Goff to one hundred. Patrick Mahomes. And uh, Devin Duvarney. KJ Hamlet is going to go to the Broncos. John Elway to 100. Ravens for this one right here. I gave him to 50. We got Jeff um, Okuda. It's going to go to the Lions. Under Fournette to 75. Cam Akers. There you go. Double patch and auto. And, uh, it's going to the Rams. Give me a second.
Yeah, the one thing about Mahomes is that it kind of, like, benefits him the most. And that's the reason why he probably took took that contract, you know. Because why would someone want to be locked up for 10 years, you know. Not that he doesn't want to leave Kansas City. I'm sure he wants to play there for, for life. But, you know, he can opt out, you know, obviously if there are certain things that don't, um, don't, um, you know don't meet the the requirements or whatever the contract specifics are. So at the end of the day, it was a pretty smart move on, on him. I don't think so. I mean, look, the salary caps, is like I guess they're always going up, right? I'm assuming, especially in all sports, really. Um, but... I mean, he is getting paid. He is going to be the highest paid probably quarterback in two years, right? Because he's still in his rookie year this. He's still in his rookie year this year and next year. So think about it. You're getting that guy for a steal this year if there is football, and the following year for a steal. You know what I mean? And um, so, really, if you think about it, like they kind of have him on a cheap deal for the next two years. So I mean. Them adding that running back from LSU, Clyde Edwards, I mean, that's going to help right there, you know what I mean? Um, but, you know what I mean? Like, it, there's still, like, time for the like, Chiefs to still add pieces. And, you know, at the same time, I think you just got to be smart with your money. I don't think it's wrong to pay your quarterback the most because, obviously, we all know when you think of the Chiefs, it's Patrick Mahomes, you know, and he's, he's the reason why they're really winning. Of course, it's a team sport, but, you know, without Mahomes, they don't win that Super Bowl, right? Or, you know, get to the Super Bowl and stuff like that. So, I don't think it's a problem paying the quarterbacks their money. Especially that he deserves it and he's going to get it the most money. But, um, I still think there is room enough to play around with people. You know what I mean? That's for sure. CJ Henderson. Jaguars with that one. Yeah, more and more I'm thinking baseball's not going to happen. I think a lot of people are starting to follow the it's not safe, which I don't blame them, man. If they don't feel safe, they don't feel safe. And obviously the the union obviously agreed on the money specifics, right, or contract, but still. I mean, what really needs to go up, honestly, guys, is the money towards wide receivers, really. You know what I mean? Like, there's some so talented wide receivers out there. I feel like that is becoming kind of a thing where you're finding so many different receivers in so many different places. Being versatile running backs, you know. 
I can do it all like Christian McCaffrey. I don't know. The NFL today is just so talented. It's amazing. It's just it's crazy. You can even say the NFL has changed in like 10 years. A.J. Dillon. Packers. I definitely think so too, but there are tackles and guards that do make a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, they do. You know, Brandon Brooks was the highest paid uh, uh, guard in the NFL, and I think he got a good, good amount too. Now, is it Patrick Mahomes type of money? No, but they do deserve a little bit more. But they do get paid very well. You got to keep those. You got to keep your your line and your defensive line. You know what I mean? Really, really fresh and really, really, really well um, taken care of. But always room for more for them for sure. I think so. That's why the defensive line and stuff like that gets paid. Good big bucks, right? But again, at the end of the day, there's a lot of players and uh, positions that get factored in that we all, I think we all can have a say that each spot deserves to get paid a little bit more, right? I mean, and yes, I'm with you too, Matthew. Like, everybody needs to get paid more. The NFL is cheap, yeah. It's true. I mean, I think everybody deserves to get paid more. Yeah, NBA has definitely changed, and NBA does does drop some money for sure. And they have those like, you sign a one year deal, you opt out of the second year deal, and you get paid a lot more because the salary caps just continue to increase, and like the players keep on making more and more and more. Which I think that's why NBA players are content with their pay in the NBA. I mean, of course they probably want more, like everybody. Obviously, everybody's always gonna want more, but. I think it is something like that that you can look towards, right? That is another thing, too, actually. Yes, Brad is right. There's only a 12-man roster with a couple of players, you know, probably on the team itself. So you could spend more money that way. Where in the NFL, yeah, you have to divide up between 53 players plus another 12, you know, practice squad players. So it ends up being, like, over 60 players, which is true. You know, but at the end of the day, guys... I mean, obviously, we we want to make as much money as possible. I think, though, also that even if you're part of a 53-man roster, I think you're still making at least a mil, which I'd be very happy with. <laughs> you know, I think most players, you know, uh, would be very happy with that. Hell, I think back of quarterbacks or, or third-string quarterbacks that don't even, like, really play get paid mills, if not at least close to a mill. So, obviously, these players at the end of the day are making their money. But, yes, I know we see it as the owners are also making their money. But at the same time, they did they did put up the money to purchase that team, right? Or they did invest into whatever it is to to be the owner and to, and to make as much money as they can. So, at the end of the day, everybody has to make money. Some are going to make more than others. That's just the way it is. But I think definitely, I mean, I think in every field, people deserve to make more money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, let's just not talk about football. Let's just talk about other careers, you know, like teachers and this. I mean, I think teachers are very, very underpaid. You know, they deserve to, to get paid more for what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, but, yeah. I think the NFL is really, really pushing through. They're not trying to have that stuff delayed. And I think they're really, really pushing that we also are in attendance for these games. Which, don't get me wrong, I, I want to see my Eagles play this year. This is one of my favorite times of, like, the eight-year, four-year uh, turnaround window for my Eagles playing in California. They play the Cardinals this year, which the in-laws now moved to Arizona. I got a place to stay there. Always watch the Cardinals play against the Eagles. And then they play in Santa Clara this year to play against the, the 49ers. So I definitely want to go to both those games if I have the opportunity. But I just don't think it's going to happen. But hopefully 
they still keep the same schedule for next year and they just push it back a year. Not like continue on with the rest of every single year, you know? But at the end of the day, I think we need to get this, uh, obviously this virus on, on, on contained and obviously once we get the vaccine, that's definitely going to help. So that way we can all go back to our usual day-to-day -day life and work life. And not have fa some family members affected big time, you know? Tyler Johnson. Bucks. Yeah, I just can't see football. Cause out of all the sports, I can see NBA still playing. Because, like you said, you brought it up, Brad. There's less people playing ba basketball, 12-man roster, plus a coach or two, whatever it is. So, less people in an area rather than having 53 players all in one place on one sideline. Then you have the other 53 players on the other sideline, including the refs, you know, including all the coaches or whatever it is, you know. So, it's kind of more tough for me to envision that football is going to come back, although I really want them to, you know. So... I can definitely see basketball being okay. NHL kind of in the same boat as well. I think they're doing a good job too. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it all just... I just think it really has to come down to the players agreeing to be part of this bubble and not breaking the rules and not going out. You know, really commit to doing this. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, this is their job. If their your job tells you, like, this has to go down and this is what needs to happen, then obviously you kind of have to do it. I get, I get it being a part from your family for a couple months might be rough if you can't bring them along. But at the same time, you kind of been with your family this whole time since, what, March? How long has it been, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just I, don't, I just don't like that excuse of, of a player saying about family, what about family, you know? Because you kind of been with them for much longer than you normally would have, right? Your family kind of knows how the, how, the, how the way it goes. You're traveling X amount of time of the year. You're traveling this much time of the year. And then you have these months to spend time, which... I think players have spent more time with their family now than they have in their whole career, really. You know, from not traveling for the last, like, four months. So I don't like that. I don't really like when players say that, you know. I would be totally okay being away from my family for two months because, obviously, I got to spend all this time with them, being safe and healthy, and then, obviously, now trying to be safe as well and being in that bubble that they want us to be in so nothing happens to any one of us. On the team, exactly. You know what I mean? Jaron Pickney. Oh, is that right, Brad? Well, that sucks, man. Well, hopefully it's still going well for you. But, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, at the same time, I think you guys understand what's going on if that was the case. If it has to do with COVID, Brad, you know? Realize that, hey, you know, we're just all trying to be safe here and whatnot. Jared Pinkney. Yeah, the Dare to Tear. I pulled one in the first half. I don't know if there's going to be one in this half, but... Falcons with this one. Nice, Brad. Well, that's good, man. That's awesome. Obviously, I'm lucky and blessed enough to see my wife every day. She also works here, so even a plus. I get to spend more time with her. Although, I'm always in this side and she's on that side, so don't really get to see her much. But, yeah, man, I, I, it'd be really tough for me not seeing my wife for a, over four months. But at the same time, I think we both would agree or understand why it's happening and just kind of got to pull through all right falcon so actually this is a trade mojo right matthew got that one um she does the customer service and then she does the uh sorting and shipping so she kind of does all the back end work that no one really sees but a couple other people as well All right, two more boxes, guys. All right, guys, two more boxes. Okay, coming up after this is another Bowman Sapphire break. 
Let's hold out straight up number seven. And then we're going to end the night with Prism Mega Five Box. Two random teams each, number three. So anything else that's all double break tomorrow. Alrighty guys, good luck, last two boxes. I mean, some people, some people really don't, Brandon. Some people love to collect sets. But as you can see now, I think it has shifted because for group breakers, it's much easier and quicker to sell, you know, non-heavy base cards. But there's still a lot of people that love base cards, Brandon. Honestly, there really is. Maybe not every set, of course, but, I mean, Prism, Select, Optic, all those heavy base products, Bowman, people love that stuff. Bills with that one. Justin, there you go. I mean, I still know a handful of people that collect sets. You know? Calvin Cook.
Jonathan Taylor. Very nice. That's Colts. Gregory. Really, Brandon? I mean, obviously the shipping is not going to be cheap if you sell it online, but no, I think people kind of already realize that selling sets is going to be a little expensive when it comes to shipping. If that's what you're trying to say, but. Alright, you guys, last box. Tony Gonzalez. Nice little Joe Burrow mini. 32 out of 100. There you go. It's going to go to the Cincinnati Bengals. Juan. Yeah, I. I know we wanted to start selling some Justin, but we haven't had it. We haven't reordered in a while. We kind of just had w what we used for our hit packs and stuff like that. But I can ask and see if we can kind of give some out or sell some out per se. I know we wanted to sell some stickers or like throw them in customers' boxes, but I don't think we've had a reorder in a while since COVID. So but I can see. I can ask Nick maybe tomorrow if he's here. I have no idea. Did they actually cut up some of those jerseys that he wore? Where he spelled it uh, spelled it differently? Harrison Bryant. Kyler Murray for the Cardinals. And Jonathan Taylor. Look at that little added bonus auto. Oh, the mini was spelled different? Oh, wow. That's probably like a super short print or something. The fact that they spelled it that way. We should look that up. Maybe that's a big hit right there. Jonathan Taylor, another one right there for the Colts. I didn't realize that. Yeah, Browns for Harrison Bryant going to Phillip. And there you go, guys. That was a break. We just got to do one randomizer. One, one randomizer. Which is right over here. Oh, wait. Did I go through this already? Yeah, I went through this already. This is all just base cards. Oh, um, that was an Austin Hooper. It was not numbered, but you know what? I'll penny save it for you, Massacre, the top of it. 
All right, so here you go, guys. So all these hits will go out to the rifle teams. We tagged on there. And again, this will be randomized here. Colts, Lions, Eason, and uh, Hunter Bryant. And we got a nice Eason out of five there. All righty, guys, so let's see. Who's going to get this hit here? Lions and uh, it's a three and a two five times one two three four five going to the Colts what a break for the Colts there you go Gregory there you go congratulations guys and there you go that was the break everybody uh, coming up next is a Sapphire number 7 and then we're going to end off the night with a Prism Mega Box break appreciate it guys jazbeescasebreaks.com